Although I have many level 50s, I love one character. And to take this character from hero to villain, to me, is just so important. I can now just go through the game and have my journey, my story, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a very cool encounter. The City of Heroes franchise started in 2004 and you could create a hero. And then we did an expansion in 2005, which was City of Villains. And one of the things we always wanted to do was make sure that you could eventually turn your villain into a hero or turn your hero into a villain. So the great thing about Going Rogue, which is our next major expansion, is as the title suggests, you can actually go rogue. But not only that, we've also expanded it in a major way. We've added a ton of new missions, uh, all new storylines, that 1 to 20 content in Praetoria. It's about as close to starting a new MMO as you can get. You know, everyone's going to be on the same footing. Everyone's going to be exploring it for the first time together. If you're a new player, it's about the best time to join. The whole point of the Going Rogue alignment system is not just to just say, hey, today I want to be a hero, today I want to be a villain. What we want to do is we want to provide a journey to make these leaps from one alignment to another, they have to make these moral choices. Then you're presented with a morality mission. And that's the mission that defines what alignment you ultimately are. And if you do the mission and push yourself more towards the villainous alignment, and eventually your hero will turn into a vigilante. And now a vigilante will then do a bunch of more of these types of missions, and they will become a villain outright that a villain redeems himself by becoming a rogue, sort of that, that Han Solo, Lando Calrissian type, right? And so as you move forward from becoming a rogue, then eventually you make the, the transition all the way into hero. Previously, if you were a hero, you couldn't get into uh, the rogue isles at all. And likewise, if you started as a villain, you couldn't get in Paragon City at all. Now all of a sudden, you can actually take your mastermind and you can take them into Atlas Park and you can actually fight hero content. Likewise, your hero can go into the rogue isles from Paragon City and they can now fight the villain content. When you create a brand new character uh, with Going Rogue, you're given the choice of becoming a hero or a villain, or you can become a Praetorian. And a Praetorian hasn't made that choice yet. The Praetorians kind of start in the middle. They sort of start in this sort of neutral area where they're not really heroes or villains. But by the time you get through the first 20 levels of Praetoria, you will have made choices along the way that determine sort of where you're going to end up. It's our way to show a player how they can create a neutral character and as they continue their player experience they can choose between the moral good or the moral bad but in a frame of context that is independent of Paragon City and the Rogue Isles. What Going Rogue represents is the culmination of a lot of work that we've done ever since the game launched. You know, there's always competition with other MMOs, and uh, I like to think that, you know, we do things just a little bit better than the other ones out there. So, you know, we like to innovate, and, you know, when we innovate, you know, we set the bar really high and say, if you want to copy us, you must be this tall to ride this ride and to be as good as us.